Uh, so next is, so why is Stan Letter book so bad? Like, hey, Kim, what a crew? Greetings, hope all is well. Maybe you can help just not understanding Stan Letter's booking. She's as strong as Ripley, has the capability to be a real but isn't booked that way. Sky Blue, who's the worst woman's wrestler on AEW's roster, has beaten her twice. Cornette has stated unless she makes the jump to WWE, she'll just get lost in the shuffle in AEW. Disco and Cody, can you make sense of this? First Wardlow, now Stan Letter. Con sucks as a booker, Bishop is so right about it. He's serious, that's me. Um, yeah, the, the, if you're looking at Chris Stadlin or looking at Rio and you're hitching your wagon to, to, you know, to, to, to Rio, it's like, I, I don't know what you're thinking. So, right. And the guy, the guy goes, us first Wardlow, now Statlander. No, bro. It's been Jade Cardgill. It's been Jay White. It's, I mean, we can go down the list. It's been, you know, ha more than half the roster has not been booked well. Yeah. And you know, yeah. the answer. Good. Uh, just go. I here's what I think. I think this is this might be Tony's problem. Is because it's a very friendly atmosphere, okay, and because um, what's the word I want to use here? And because they're like everybody's kind of like one big happy family. I think he's kind of worried about giving somebody like like a. I, I don't. I, actually, I'm not, I'm not. I was going to say something that's not even accurate because Darby Allen wins like every single match he has. It seems like. And so does Cassidy. And like, you know, and they're, I guess he's pushing them as like stars, but he's pushing them like, like guys like Jay White and the other guy should be pushed. You know, like it's really weird that they push the small guys. Like, like Riho is getting pushed over Statlanders. Like uh, who made that decision? That's like, this is very strange. Well, him, yeah. And then at the end of the day, it's like, it's almost like, well, I like Orange Cassidy and I like this guy. So I'm going to push them, you know, and He's not really taking it's he has the last word and I think he thinks he's always right. And it's almost like if you have a lot of money, you want to hire the best people around you to do the majority of the work for you or to help you. And he's not doing that. You don't bring somebody to your house to fix the refrigerator and, and you know, he's instead of and he fixes something else instead. It's what you're you know what I'm saying? I don't. He should not be making all those decisions himself. He doesn't have the experience, even though he's been five years in. This is very hard, and you need a lot of experience, people around you to help you. And I can't believe that that he has to do everything himself. Just yeah, I think, boss. and I don't know if you guys would agree. Maybe there's a few more to pick from, but I think in in those four and a half, five years, the worst booking decision Tony Khan and AEW made was having Statlander beat Jade Cargill especially if he's had no plans for Statlander since. And as a matter of fact, I always thought Taya should have done it anyway because she was feuding with her. But putting Statlander over on Jade was was brutal. Yeah. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content and being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams uh thank you for your support thank you for riding with us i know you got a lot of other uh podcast choices be it wrestling or other ones and thank you for picking us boom